Hi everybody, Tall Paul here with Left Handed Knife Reviews. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the CJRB Craig. Model number J1904, TAC GYF. Let's get right into it. First up, we're going to have our facts and figures. This is going to be a three and a half inch blade in D2 steel, running on a set of washers. These scales are made out of G10 are, and are affixed to stainless steel liners and the handle measures in at 4.75 inches. At the time of this review, this knife sells for $35.18 on Blade HQ. Next up, I'm gonna put some items for size comparison on the table as the actual dimensions of the knife will appear on the screen. First up, we have our unsharpened Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. We're gonna follow that up with another cleaver this is the Gerber flat iron. We will then go with another CJRB with the feldspar. This is the small size feldspar, not the large. Uh, we'll do another, do the QSP penguin. And we'll go up a couple of price points and throw in the ever popular Benchmade bug out. Next up, we will talk about Larry and my experience while using the knife. The Craig is an okay knife to use. The scales have a good texture, which gave us a secure grip. The size of the handle gave us ample room for our hands and we were able to hold the knife comfortably quite a few different ways. This knife had a good consistent lockup for us and it Deployed pretty well with the flipper tab. Overall, this knife was pleasant to carry for review. Next up, let's take a look at what the Craig succeeds at. This is a whole lot of knife for the money. For $35, you're getting a D2 steel blade, which is sizable, with a smooth action. You're also getting some G10 scales that are nicely textured and overall, the build quality is above what one would expect for $35. This is also a knife that I don't mind using for harder tasks. For one, the price is right to beat on it. And the blade definitely has a little bit more beef to it than other knives in this price point. We see a lot of knife makers trying to keep the thickness of their blade stock below that 0.1 to 0.12 mark. And the Craig does come in above that. Next up. Let's take a look at what this knife struggled with. This knife struggles with its size a little bit. It is a pocket hog. The whole knife is about 1.6 inches for the whole length of the knife. The blade shape itself actually pushes the knife further forward in your pocket when carried tip up. This combined with the almost five ounce weight kind of lead to a rough carry experience. Next up, we have our points of note. Points of note are neutral things that we want to mention, but fall in the gray area between successes and struggles. The pocket clip is a deep carry pocket clip. There is a lanyard hole present. The ergos on this knife are very middle of the road. Overall, it fits really good in the hand. It's a little wide and tall, and fits our hands really well. The forward finger choil is a little bit on the small side, and there's this little hump along the back of the knife where the blade meets the handle, which kind of made it difficult for my thumb to find a good spot to rest. But overall, even with extended use, the knife was fairly comfortable. Now for everything that's left. The part of the knife review, we talk about everything left-handed. This is a flipper tab knife. Flipper tabs are going to have the exact same experience for a left-handed individual as a right-handed individual. For the lock, this is a liner lock, so you're going to have the normal left-handed liner lock problems. This liner lock is a little bit on the difficult side to manipulate for a left-handed individual. They do have a good amount of space in here for you to get your thumb on the side of it, but this surface right here is perfectly smooth. So if it's 
not in there really well, you it does have a tendency to want to try and slip off the top. Other than that, the pocket clip is reversible for tip up carry. And this knife for left-handed user is fairly good. All right, let's talk about our closing thoughts and recommendations. We recommend this knife for people who are looking for a really good knife to price ratio. CJRB has some good selections at this price and this one continues that. You get a solid blade in D2 steel and a knife that functions incredibly well considering it's priced below all of that of a company like Civivis. In the end, if you spend $35 on this knife, your money will be well spent. Even if it's just something you want to bring out in the yard and mess around with. Thank you very much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe for more great knife content. We'll see you next time.